Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a very special uh, episode, the start of many episodes to come. Now, what am I talking about? Now, if you saw from the title of the video, uh, this is called the Techno Babble Upgrade for 2021. Now, the channel started back in July 2019, so around a year and a half at least. And you know, um, I'm quite happy with the, the, the channel. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching uh, all my videos. But yeah, throughout the entire uh, one and a half years that this channel has been around. I think if you guys have seen my earlier videos, there's been a very slow, uh, in my opinion, at least a very slow improvement to the quality of my videos. Uh, so for 2021, you know, it's the start of a new year after a heck of a 2020. Uh, you know, I thought what I wanted to do was just upgrade Techno Babble uh, on, on a technical level. I, I just wanted to look at the different aspects of production and see what I can improve on. For full clarity, some of them will be sponsored, some of them will be purchased by myself. So what I'm going to do uh, in this next few episodes, I'm going to go through one by one the different aspects of production and here in Techno Babble and what we do uh, and see what I'm going to improve on. So for the very first episode, I think we're going to look at the foundation of everything. So we're going to look at the electrical, specifically the electricals of my house, which is where I shoot my videos. You know, having all sorts of gadgets here all the time, everything plugged in, my PC plugged in, my TV plugged in, constantly changing appliances to review. Sometimes we get certain plugs that you know, looks like some kind of like monster with different different plugs all over the place. And that brings on this whole sets of um, issues and dangers and I really want to do something about that. So I did some research and I looked around and see what were the best options. Uh, and then it just so happened that I got contacted by a company called Line 8, which is based right here in Singapore. Now, actually, when I say they're based in Singapore, they were founded in Singapore, so it's a Singaporean company. Uh, but not just that, okay, there are tons of Singaporean companies, you know, uh, they're selling all sorts of tech products and even non-tech products. But this is a first for me, right? So this company, Line 8, isn't just based in Singapore, isn't just founded in Singapore. Their products are all made in Singapore, right? And now before we talk more about that, let's talk about the product itself. So how is Line 8 going to come in? and help me out with my electrical. So Line 8 is a company that builds uh, power rails or you know, some people call them power tracks. So something like this. So this is one example of a power rail. So um, you might have seen uh, some other companies that might have a similar feature, but let me tell you that this whole system is built from the ground up. Okay, so for those who are not familiar with power rails, or if this is not really popular where you are, basically how it works that this is sort of like a base, like a base station, if, uh, if you will, and you would need something like this. So this is an adapter, all right, which has your power socket, all right? And, they are, and for line eight, they are basically two types. So one like this in Singapore, which is your basic uh, socket that we use in Singapore. Uh, it's also used in the UK, but yeah, you have this option or you could purchase something like this from Line 8. So this one is the international one, uh, which supports a whole range of different power sockets in different countries. So you've got uh, the UK and Singapore because it's both the same, it supports the US, spots uh, Europe, China, Japan, Germany, even Australia, right? So if you have any appliances from any of those countries, they would all work on this one, which is fantastic. All right, so how it will work is you just plug it in, all right, turn it on, and it doesn't switch on yet. You have to lift up this sort of like a ring tab. So you lift it up and then it goes on and you can tell it's on by the like a neon orange color that you see uh, at the bottom here. Now there are a whole bunch of safety features, uh, too much for me to, to mention here because the video will take way too long. Uh, but some of the main, the main ones are obviously, so how it works is the system where when you turn it, all right, it's sort of a, like a key system. I'm not quite sure how exactly it works, but when you turn it, it comes into contact with the rail and then it turns on. Now, there is always a danger of putting it the wrong way around. And if you do that, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of issues. So the safety feature here, the first one, obviously if you put it the right way, you turn it on, you'll be fine, all right? If you put it the wrong way around, it's not gonna work, all right? Not at all. But yeah, that's just one of the many safety features, even like this switch, like the resistance and how much force it takes to turn this on. Uh, they also researched to that so that you don't accidentally turn it on. And once it's on, once it's switched on, you can't take it out either. Oh, but there is one more thing and I'm gonna show you in a bit. So I'm gonna put a few uh, of these adapters on. So I'm gonna put one, two, and by the way, they also come in different colors. So you've got the standard silver one. You've also got a one with a gold trimming. 
and one with just a solid black trimming. Now, I actually really like all of this. Um, the silver ones, you know, the one with the metallic finish have a really nice uh, accent on the side. If you want something a bit more subdued, you can go with the black. Really, really nice as well. But anyway, so I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to turn them on. All right. Oh, sorry, I'm going to rotate them, but like you can see, they are not switched on. So once they are over here, you can move them around. Now, there is another feature. So this is, I mean, even though this is targeted towards home use, uh, you can also use this uh, in a corporate scenario. So in offices, you can even use this in public spaces as well. And they have been installed in public spaces. But then you might be wondering, what about the danger of someone just taking this and walking away? All right. So what they do is that they have a locking system as well. So with the key here, they have a keyhole over here, proprietary with this. I can put this in, all right? I can turn this on. And once I do this, all right, this would be locked and I can't take it out. Now, there are a lot of different amazing features uh, about the Line 8 rail system. And even if you go to that website, if you scroll down to the bottom, you see a whole ton of different patterns and all that. It's really quite impressive. Uh, but apart from this sort of power rails, what you also get is this sort of modules, all right? So these are multimedia or data modules that have a whole bunch of different uh, connectors that you can add to your power rail, all right? So how it will work is, let's say I have this particular rail, this module, would be installed here and you can install as many as you want. They would just be installed. You can even have one reel with all just connectors, all right? And of course, they could follow uh, the different pattern. We'll talk about the different color designs later on because that's just as impressive. Uh, and I only have two here. So what I have here is the USB 3.0 and the HDMI, but that's not it. In fact, there's so much that I had to write it down. So I have this on a piece of paper. So you've got the HDMI one here, which I've shown you, all right? Uh, you also have VGA, all right? You've also got Ethernet or your LAN port. And even then you can choose between Cat3, Cat5e or Cat6. I don't know why you would choose Cat3, but anyway, it also supports coaxial. It supports your optical, which is your fiber. All right, it supports USB. So this one is USB 3.0, uh, USB A connector specifically. Now the newer module also has USB Type C. All right, and which also supplies 60 watts of power. So yes, it also supports power delivery, also supports quick charge. So it's it's so versatile. And not just that, with 60 watts of power, if your laptop supports uh, Type C charging, you can charge your laptop as well. Although some laptops require 65 watts. Uh, of charging for USB Type-C, but with 60 watts, you can still charge. It will just might be a little bit slower. But we are not done yet. In terms of multimedia, okay, incredible. It supports your 3.55, uh, sorry, 3.5 millimeter jack, which is like your headphone jack, uh, quarter inch, which is the bigger one for like your guitar amps and all that. Uh, even supports XLR, which is a professional microphone connector and supports your component cable, which is like your RCA or your like 5.1 surround. That's your component uh, connector. And we're still not done, all right? This also supports smart home, right? So this has smart home features, it's, it's ridiculous. Now, this rail in itself does not support. What you need to do is you have to get a module or it's an added feature on the rail. So you don't have to get it for everything or you want to get it for everything, it's fine. So if you do get the smart home module, it comes with a rail that you can add it here as well. It comes with a hard, uh, on and off switch, or you can use an app to do that. And of course, it works with Google Assistant, which is perfect for me. I want to talk about the design aesthetics as well. Now, first of all, with this kind of rails, there are two types that you can get. You can get something like this, which is external and goes on the wall, or something like this. So this is actually recessed. So what that means is this doesn't sit on top of a wall or on top of a table. This actually fits into your wall and it can get flush. If let's say you've got like a dry wall or something, uh, usually in Singapore, that's not going to be the case. Uh, but if you're in a country where you have dry walls and all that, uh, something that you can actually, you know, cut out, you can actually put that in and it gets recessed and flushed into the wall. Or you can even have this on like corporate like tables or even if you have a, a, a table at home and you've got your PC set up, um, if it allows, you can actually cut. They can actually do it for you. They'll fit it in. It'll be flush with your table and look absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, um, you might be wondering like with something with this length, how many of these adapters can I fit? Now, very good question. Now, Line 8 claims that you can actually install it, or it rather it supports up to 14 adapters per meter, right? Which is really, really good. Uh, and not just that. Now, another thing about this is you have different sizes. Uh, interested customers in Singapore, you can actually design or customize it to the millimeter, right? So it can be 
as long as something like this can be even longer it could be short as something like this all right which is actually something that a line a sent over to showcase uh, there are multitude of different design and colors but anyway so it can be something as short as this can be as long as this or even longer but yeah anyway to the design so they actually have different colors so you're not going to be short of design options to suit your home uh, interior design all right so they actually have 10 and i have all of them here these 10 samples all right and i also had to write them down because it is way too much all right so the first one here I believe this one is the Galaxy Blue and I realized that I wrote them down but didn't match them with the color so I'm gonna guess which one is what, alright? So I assume this one is the Galaxy Blue, quite sure of this. Uh, this is the Indian White Marble, okay? Really, really nice. I can imagine this uh, working really well in like a kitchen or maybe in like the restroom. Um, and oh, speaking of which, all right, so another safety feature is that, you know, if you put your finger here, you're not, you're not going to get electrocuted. Uh, really good. Uh, also, I believe there is some form of water and dust resistance. So you can actually install this uh, on your kitchen and I'm going to talk more about that later. So we have here the Galaxy Blue, the Indian Marble. This one, I believe, is the Brazilian Rosewood, which is really, really, this is actually one of my favorite and it matches perfectly uh, with my PC table. All right, and then you have this one, which is the Silver Hairline. Very, very nice brushed uh, aluminum finish. Now, some of them have this sort of brushed aluminum finish. Uh, there's more here, but really, really nice texture. Really, really tough material as well. Uh, what else do we have? We have this, like a champagne gold color. Also very, very nice. This one is called American Spruce, all right? So it's sort of a lighter timber color. There's more, all right? So this one is, I would say, the like vanilla or the standard one, which is called Black Hairline. So you've got Silver Hairline and then you've got Black Hairline. All right, what else? We have this one, which is also gold, but it looks like it's scuffed up, but no, that, that's actually intentional and actually quite nice. So this one is called Metallic Gold Foil. So it does look a bit like gold foil. Um, what else do we have? We have this one, which is ivory white leather. So this one is not just a color. I, I don't know if the, my other camera can pick this up, but it has a texture as well. And it really does feel uh, like leather. This one is actually quite unique and quite incredible. And finally, this one, I believe is called rose gold. Although, I don't know, it looks more like a metallic brown, but yeah, I, I think this is ro rose gold. I need to confirm that, but yeah, also very nice. So here you have, 10 different colors, right? And like I said, they can be customized to the millimeter. So if you want to do one for your home, you don't have to worry about set uh, lengths and finding out which one suits the best. You can customize it to whatever length that you want. All right, so how, what has it got to do with my upgrade project? So Lionhead has very kindly um, offered to sponsor and upgrade all our electricals in the house, not just the studio where I shoot, all right? So basically where I'm gonna have this installed is at the TV console, which you can see right over here, all right? One on this side where my wife has her, you know, home office usually when I'm not shooting here. Uh, we're also gonna have one in the kitchen, all right? And I'm really looking forward to that one. We're gonna have one in the bedroom as well. And we're gonna have two in the room where I usually shoot my, my normal videos. So the reason why we're gonna have two is that we're gonna have one dedicated for my PC because that's a mess as well. All right, so that's the first episode of the Technobabble 2021 upgrade project. All right, there are still many other aspects as well. Uh, things like the microphones I'm gonna use, you know, uh, camera, lighting, uh, even like studio props and all that. So all that is gonna go through some form of upgrade or other. Um, but you know, that's going to be in the future and it might even last throughout the entire year, but this is the first one we're going to do. There's going to be others. So do remember to subscribe so you don't miss that. But yeah, so I do hope you enjoy this video. There's going to be plenty more coming up really soon. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do and I would love it if you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP and I'll see you real soon.